Last time on Fire Emblem Awakening Z, Ducky and the gang stormed Walhart's stronghold, killing everyone who stood in their way, including Walhart. Well, actually, they didn't kill Walhart. He kind of killed himself by daring to attack Donald, and then he got a counter to the face. And Exilus is, can't believe this. Exilus is like, wow, Walhart lost? Oh, there he is. He's just chilling. He got an axe to the face, but he managed to just get up and wander right back into his castle. Good for him. That That is the mark of a conqueror. You know, when you get an axe to the face and, or, yeah, or your own, your own soul blade. When you get your own soul blade to the face because the enemy you attacked has counter and you just get right back up, get off your horse, get back on the horse and uh, walk back into your castle ready to fight again. So yeah, so we chased him into his castle, I guess, where Excellus is hiding out and their whole gang is holed up. So now we have the advantage. That really, uh, the tides of battle really changed quite a bit, didn't they? It seems like just yesterday that we were in that castle with, um, who was that? That, uh, that blonde commander Valkyrie girl. After we defeated her, we were, it seemed like things were in a pretty, pretty dire situation for Ducky and the gang. They were surrounded and... Ooh, spirit dust. Nice. Um, it seemed like we were in a pretty bad spot, but now we've just managed to power our way through the uh, the entire army. Ooh, energy drop. Man, we're, we're getting some... And of course, there's no reason not to get it because that spear. Sweet. Lucina and Krom will be using that in no time. We're finally in control of our finances, so we can do that kind of stuff. We can buy all these stat boosters. And that, my friends, is why you are smart with your money. So look at, uh, Donald has capped speed, luck, look at his luck. 48 luck, Tharja. Need to combine some Nosferatu's. I love the restocking. It is so satisfying to do their restocking. So satisfying. Oh, man, I love that. Look at that. Instead of having, like, one-use items lying around, you can restock and just such an efficient way to manage your inventory. There's really no excuse in this game to have to dump off items that have like one or two uses unless they're rare items like Leaf's Blade where you can't just restock willy-nilly but for things that you can buy and you can restock it's just that's one of my favorite things and I don't think you can do that in any other Fire Emblem can you? Nice, Krom is a spear in it up no need for the javelin anymore the spear is superior in every way I don't think Lucina can use it yet she needs to get there. She needs to practice her lance. Krom can use a soul, but he doesn't really need that because he has, he already has a soul, a skill, and that's the main draw of this blade. Tiki is just ridiculous. Look at that. And Ducky is good, but he doesn't have these outrageous stats like Donald's 48 luck. Are you, that, that is super lucky. I wonder if in the Fire Emblem world, the luck stat translates to life. You know, like, oh, dang it, I can't can't get that energy drop because there's a there's this enemy spawn there. So that would that would be a battle. That would be grinding. And we aren't grinding in this game. We are carefully managing our resources. Okay, I think Tharja is good on Nosferatu's. I think she's ready for the battle. And here we are, Valm Castle. 
the sword or the knee? I choose the sword. Wait, are they talking about my... Getting a sword to the face? Oh, okay, here's the three... Excellus, who we haven't been able to kill yet. And Walhard, but it's kind of cool how he, they talk mean to each other. And then that guy with the mustache, he's alive. He managed to survive somehow, even though Ducky utterly destroyed him with magic. So, I don't know about that. What I do know is that this is one of those levels in Awakening, another one that's just kind of open area, just enemies everywhere. No real, uh, there's not a lot, not a lot of, uh, not a lot of just a uh, different place to go. I'm, I'm thinking of like in, uh, in Fire Emblem 7, the, the one where you're, you're in, I think, Ostia Castle in Hector, Hector mode, where you um, are defending the cat, the throne, not the early defense map in Hector mode, but the later one where that, uh, what is his name, Denning, the, the morph that, that says, this is a message from Lord Nurgle over and over, that map. So like you're in a castle on that one too, but there's a lot more to the castle, to the layout of it than just a symmetrical, open, boring castle with just enemies, you know? So I think I kind of see where where Awakening could have been a lot better if they had just put put a little more into these maps. There's really not a lot of room for strategy here, I don't think. Other than, you know, having your strong units do most of the work. Just kind of soak up as many enemies as they possibly can so the weaker allies can uh, do their thing maybe get a few attacks in but yeah so there are there are treasure chests that we want to rush to so I'm gonna bring Anna and um, there will be reinforcements coming from the back so we have to think of them too but um, other than that it's kind of a it's kind of a bleh map. The cool thing is you do get to fight Excellus finally. Um, and then that guy with the mustache is back here again. But we already fought him, so there's nothing special about that. We've already seen him on the map. And he's gotten stronger, so he's been training, I guess. I don't know what kind of training he's done, but he... Maybe he's been grinding Risen. I guess enemies could do that, too. Because... Um, so... And then we have Walhart again, and he moves off his throne, I believe. So, uh, yeah, let's get... Got our tonics. I don't know that Ducky needs these, but we like to be prepared. We don't want any surprise game overs. I didn't check the um, enemy skills, but... So there may be some counter counters lurking about. Now Tharja with a speed tonic and with her Sairi boost, she's gonna be fast. Tiki may even bust out the Dragonstone plus. Look at her her plus stats. So she has right now 48 strength with a regular Dragonstone. 48 strength on Tiki. That is just nuts. It's like she's an enemy in Three Houses Maniac Mode, you know, with just the absurd stats. So yeah, we'll be going up. Oh, there we go. Walhart's sitting on his, on his horse in the throne. I guess he gets just a... Uh, And what's Tiki doing? Look at that. I guess what Walhart... He climbs up onto the throne with his horse. So his horse is sitting on the throne and he's sitting on his horse on the throne. That's kind of a funny picture. Alright. So we want to clear out these guys that are the closest to the group because they'll, they'll definitely try to sneak in and 
into our ranks. And I want uh, du Tiki to be close to Ducky for all that support. Look at this. Not only can he not hit her, he wouldn't damage even if he did. So the mages can still reach, so we just need to get out of their way. But other than that, I think we're good. So Krom and uh, Donald. Oh my, his speed. I didn't even look at his speed, but it is. With Sumia and with his max out, I think the speed must be high 40s or something. Nothing is not doubling him. So Krom has a little bit of a boost with Jerome. Hopefully he can do some damage. And I'm going to be... Uh, it's exact kill. Perfection. Look at that. Nice try, Sairi. And she heals herself up. Really nice. Tharja can go in close range with these guys. That's how good she is. Okay, no counter. Oh. Maybe I should have saved that one for... So she won't be attacked by the mage, which is fine. Noble Rapier. I love the Noble Rapier. Look at this. Lucina is pissed off. There we are. They couldn't even get an attack off. So she'll be attacked by the, the axe guy, but I think he has no chance of hitting her. Whoop. Alright. There we go. Beast killer. Brave sword. Rapier is perfect kill. Look at that. We're both he and Lucina doing... Oh no, it was Tharja that had the perfect damage against the other one. Right. Krom doesn't have the noble rapier. He's just a, a regular peasant rapier. So now we can get Anna over here. I think there's some good some good items in these uh, chests. Um, I don't know what exactly, but... I think there's some stat boosters. Maybe an arm scroll. Keep dancing for Frederick. Maybe he and uh, Olivia will start dating and have a have a future baby. Rally. There we go. Boost Donald's magic. Who who needs? To, oh. All right. Oh, here we go. Cervantes. There we go. So he has. Oh, he has a tomahawk. And he's going for Ducky with that massive tomahawk. He hit. And he just got obliterated. It's kind of funny that the fire was actually coming from Ducky and not the actual dragon. Ooh, Draco shield. Bingo. Wow, he went for uh, Tiki. Interesting. <laughs> I better push her out of the way because that... Not only was not going to hit, but if it did, it was doing zero damage. Wow, they're going for Tiki. I'm honestly surprised, because last map they were all going for Ducky. What's up with that? Sp again, the, uh, this... Okay, level up for Tiki. Nice, she is just insanely good. Okay, there's, there's no counter here, right? Oh, I don't think it would matter, because I'm using magic. Thanks. So yeah, these guys are going for Ducky. What's up? What? How? Did, how is the AI deciding these? I have no idea. I honestly have no idea how the AI is deciding. Half of them are going for Tiki and half for me. Magic and speed. This. But yeah, see, this is this is what you want to do: is clear out this this hallway. Oh, Miracle, wow. That was scary. Oh my gosh, that was scary. Whenever it, whenever it, the game, like, pauses like that, it does that. Oh man. It kind of looks, that's like the counter. Ooh, that's scary. 
So he had merit. So all the mages want Ducky. So it was only the knights that went after T or the generals that went after Tiki. Why though? That's strategy. Tiki and Ducky. Yes, that is indeed strategy. Thanks. I love how professional Ducky keeps it. So yeah, we have these dirty thieves going after my treasure. They didn't... Okay. So... We want to get us keep moving forward, so... But I want to keep using Ducky and uh, Tiki's support. Keep improving their support. Stay calm. Can you can you handle that? So it's kind of weird to think if do they retain their do manakeets? I don't know if this is ever explained. Do they retain their their humanity when they're in that form? Like if Tiki wanted to just chill, be that way, would it? Would, could you talk to her the same way you would if she was in her human form? Like, does she understand when this purple-haired punk ducky says, stay calm? Or is she just, like, blinded rage? So there's that mage there, which is kind of scary and annoying, but I don't think... I don't think he's... He's not a problem for Tharja, unless he crits. But... Lucina and Krom, I'm always afraid of mages. Even though Lucina won't cause a game over. Look at that. Wish I could use a ranged weapon, but if I want to kill this guy, I think I need to use a sword. Alright, Lucina. Keep keep getting that that aether. Alright, so so here there's two mages, and they could cause problems if they yeah, Thoron. Ugh, I don't like that. That I don't. That's kind of a risk for Krom. What? What? What's the plan here? This is a kill. Yeah, the short spear is strong. That is a strong. And he can even get Aether with it, which is so funny. Makes zero sense. He throws a disposable spear. I can um, dance with Donald and get closer. And then take out one of the mages. So then there's only... I can take out the Thoron mage, I think. That'd be ideal. And then there would only be one magic user to worry about. Yeah, it's good to deal with Thoron. One shot by Donald. 49 damage. It's good strength. He needed that. Alright. And I, of course, want to stay out of harm's way with Lissa. And there we go. Wow, he's going for Donald instead of... Krom. That is shocking. Do they, does the AI prioritize weapon triangle over everything else? Like, because I'm certain he would have had a better chance. Yeah, he had, no. Oh, he had a sword. So he had a weapon triangle disadvantage against Krom. But I'm sure he would have had a better chance to hit and a better. And Krom aethered again with his harpoon. Nice, Lucina. Good dodge. Oh, that thief is on my nerves, going after my treasures. Okay, so I think I can, I think I can bait Excellus out with Tiki. Look at that—a forged Bulganon and a regular and a droppable Bulganon. That's kind of funny. So nothing special in the skills department. So Tiki, I can go right into Excellus, Excellus's range. 
Or I could give the kill to uh, Ducky. That'd be good. Look at the Dragonstone stats. Yeah, I think the res with the Dragonstone is... She's almost at 40 res. 39 res. And I can just... I got the... The rally. So now her stats... Look at those stats. Look at that. Her res is 43. And her defense is... Her, her defense is just off the charts. I don't know if Excellus... I think Excellus can Aether again. Man... Lucina and Krom are just self-healing machines this map. I think Excellus has enough to cause damage to her to Tiki, but barely. Okay, have a heal. Heal Tharja when she's not busy Nosferatuing. So this is going very well. I think it's going so well that nothing could possibly go wrong at this point. So yeah, there there will be reinforcements coming from the back, so we want to hurry up and get moving forward. Give Donna a little healing. Level up for Lissa. Typical Lissa level, no magic. Gotta move Donald over. Let's give a dance to Frederick. I really need to turn these dance animations off. Dance animations. All right, good. Okay, so I think I wonder if Excellus is gonna go last after all these. Thank you, Tiki. Good teamwork. That is strategy. I agree. Yep, Excellus is gonna move last. Swinging a myth. Tiki is going to obliterate Excellus. That is going to be great. Here we go. Nine damage. You think I'm afraid of you? Oh, come at me. Excellus has come at me. Miss. And one shot. Tiki's meteor attack. Meteor breath one shot Excellus. And a typical Tiki level up. No less than five stats. And we get the Forge Bolgan on. Oh no, we didn't. The Forge one wasn't dropped. Okay, so Excellus didn't move last. I, I know very little about this game, it seems. But anyway, look at how much damage Tiki is doing. And just this the ridiculousness of this all. Tiki is just out of control. She is killing these guys so so far beyond death that it's not even funny. Oh, longbow guys. These, these are the most annoying. And he missed. Ugh, oh, longbows. This guy has even worse chance of hitter than the other guy. Why were his chances so bad? Oh, everybody's moving. Oh, that mage tried to break free and go. What are they trying to get us into? Some kind of pincer attack? So yeah, we need to get rid of these annoying longbow guys because we can't we can't get, kill them on enemy phase. Their map, their their artwork is cool. They have like a I don't know if that's a, a scope in their helmet or if that's something on their forehead, but it's cool. So Tiki's sitting at 53 strength, almost 50 defense, just nuts. Oh, she's not, she's not one-shotting, but, so there's no point to use the Dragonstone Plus, because either way it's going to take two. Good try, Longbow guy. So they're out of the way now, so we can at least kill any stragglers on enemy phase now. I think we all have range here. Donald's using his short axe. Miss. 
Thoron looks sweet. Right. That is a cool looking spell. Alright, so we just need to keep moving north. And we're gonna have to use some some clever dancing and and uh switching to get Anna from one side to the other. Look at this. It's Rex Pal Caliber guy. He has no chance. Wow. That was making a cool sound as that I hadn't heard before. Okay. So I don't think we got the reinforcements warning yet. I think there is a warning in this level. Um, but yeah, they're just coming from behind a tomahawk. We gotta have our spear out. Weapon triangle disadvantage. Oh well. It happens. Physic ducky up. Gotta keep make sure that my HPs stay over 70. Cause you never know. No, I'm just kidding. But it's fun to physic now. My thanks. My thanks. Alright. Oh, spirit dust, you are so dead. How dare you, sir. Wow, he actually didn't kill. And thanks for joining in there, uh, Sumia. There we go. See, that's how you do it. That's how you do teamwork. Jerome made that happen. Not bad. And this guy is going to wish he was never born. Oh, man. Nice try, Sairi. We just need you for the speed. Thank you. Axe fight. Donald is the better axeman. Yeah, they all wanted Donald. <laughs> that general's there with it, like two HPs. Donnie didn't crit, so that guy survived. Okay. There's our uh, reinforcements warning. Rally every last man. From where? We like literally killed every single person outside. Actually, I guess we didn't because it was a defeat the boss map. So that actually makes sense. I'm gonna. I'm going to allow that. So there's some sparkly tiles that I hope we get, and we we don't want to aggro. Wallheart because that will end the map and we need to get our treasures. So we have to be careful not to aggro him. But I think he only moves if you're in his exact range. Finish the job, Donnie. I could have used a non-ranged non weapon because I don't think I have a place to buy short axes after this. Okay, yeah, so the thief is gonna come running this way. I don't I think he just goes for one chest. And we're going to have to take the item he took back and take his life. Because he dared to cross us. How about let's dance for Frederick? That seems like a good idea. Nice level up, Olivia. You need it. You definitely need the, the stats. So I think maybe next turn is when the reinforcements will come. Ooh, that Valmese looks cool. He's dead. As dead as dead can be. Oh, another physic for Lissa. He's, oh, he dodged it. He dodged the 92. Impressive. Level up for Ducky. Okay, my luck and defense and res. Now Tiki, she's not messing around with these these flipping this, this back flipping back handspring nonsense. She has a hundred percent hit rate, so 
Okay, so there's that thief. Rally. Okay, Lucina. How about let's... This is what Lucina does to thieves. You will not stop me from there we are. killing him to death. Okay. Got our spirit dust. Nice. And Anna can open this chest. B-stone plus C. Yeah, we, we don't need that. We can sell it, I guess. But... Um, and now we can use the physic. Or rally. But there are going to be the reinforcements coming, and... We still have to get get the treasure chest on the opposite side of the room. So we need to get Olivia over to dance. And we need to trade... Uh, what's her name? Anna over. Smartly. We need to smartly swap her around. Basically, she's going to be like swinging from back to back of person. They have no support, so there's no worry of, of them getting a support bonus from that. All right, who, who needs to move? Oh, it's always Frederick. Okay, here they, and there's a lot of them too. But we're gonna have to stall while we get over to those treasure chests because I think they have, what do they have over there? I don't think there's another stat booster. Level up for Tiki. Luck, defense, and resistance. Thankfully, she got some defense, she needed it. They're coming fast, so we need to get to the center of the room. Okay, let's get our th let's get Anna. I love how much move Anna has. Can I rescue? Can I rescue her? Oh, perfection! Look at this. And then I can dance for her. Oh, I love it. Hey, maybe I can even switch with Frederick. I should have switched. Oops. I should have switched, got paired with Frederick, and then I could have moved with Frederick. But I do have... Yeah, that would have been smart. And then I could have gone to the door, switched again, and unlocked it with Anna. But do you see how far I got across the map in one turn? That's that's one of the most fun things to do in Fire Emblem. That you can really only do in... That you can't do in every game, but when you can do that kind of stuff, it's so awesome. You feel... You feel like such a... A smart person. Okay, we can separate them and they can do damage together to take out more guys. I haven't decided who I want to fight Wallhart. But yeah, we need to thin, thin these guys out just so Anna has enough time to get that treasure chest. This shouldn't be a problem for Ducky and Tiki, of course. The, the harbingers of death and destruction. I could see how Alm's army would be seen as uh, Alm's. I have Valm on the brain how um, Krom's army would be seen as the bad guys when they have people like Ducky and Tiki that just completely destroy the bad guys. Okay, so I did bring a door key, so this is good. Now I can open a chest. Dragonstone Plus. Okay, that's pretty good. And then, oh, can I get uh, Olivia over there in time? If I can get Olivia over, maybe I could dance. So he has ranged attack, right? Yes. Let's bring them over. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can get the chest. I'll give him a rally. And I'm going to support with Tiki. Because they support each other. And 
Donald can... I don't think he's... Well, he'll, yeah, he'll get a chance to fight them. But Olivia... Oh, I should... Man, why am I not using Frederick? I'd rather dance for Frederick. I'd rather he continue to be useless. I guess he is providing a little support for, uh, for Krom. Okay, over here... Oh, we have some Bolganon. Tharja can take it, but Lucina... Yeah, let's... Play it a little safe. See, I don't think I don't. I'm not a hundred percent sure if Ducky will run round Wallheart. I think he will, but if he doesn't, then we'll, we should be able to get that other treasure chest. If not, I don't think there's a stat booster in it, so I don't think we're missing out too much. Spear time. Yeah, they're. They, I think they've aethered almost every attack. Hey, he actually. Do you need HPs? Crom level. And a not good level, but it's okay. It's okay because we've had lots of the good levels. Nice. Hey, she did some damage there. Good job, Sairi. Okay, here we go. I think this will be a kill. Yeah, that's. That's pretty kill. And that's even if Tiggy doesn't attack. That Wolfberg is a massive axe. Wow. Okay. Hey. Oh, Tiggy. <laughs> oh, man. Not only did he dodge a 79%, he then he got Aegis. But Tiki really wanted him dead. Okay, so I missed uh, a chest, but I think that's okay. There wasn't a stat booster. Was there? It may have been a second seal or something like that. So, Krom and Frederick basically are discussing all the cool um, EB items, uh, items that they can sell on eBay that are spoils. And Sairi has uh, given Krom this gemstone... This is the time stone, and what this does when affixed to the fire emblem, they almost have a complete set. Because when this thing is completed, it will go for record breaking amounts on eBay. So it'll be enough that Krom will never have to work again, Ducky will never have to work again, they could just rent a limo, get champagne, and just. or mimosas, I guess, or Bloody Marys, whatever. Whatever. Whatever people do when they come into a lot of money overnight. But anyway, that is the end of that that arc. So, kind of not as spectacular as the, the Gangrel arc, but an arc nonetheless. So I hope you enjoyed and had fun with that. And like and comment and subscribe if you feel like it. And have a great one. We will see you next time for part three of the Awakening Iron Man Let's Play.